Hey guys, so I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and talk to you guys because this isn't, this video is not for the workers. This is not for the people that show up to their business every single day. This is not for you guys. This is for the people that joined and either A, did nothing or B, did something and then quit or stopped or slowed down or they don't know how to get started again. That's who this video is for. So if you're watching this and you have people come into your mind right now that this video would be for, tag them in the comments so they can watch this. Um, <laughs> you guys, I was just sitting there thinking and um, I was looking at my enrollments for the last couple months and you know, I've had record enrollment months for distributors and I was looking at all these people that decided that they needed this business and they started, they they signed up, but they haven't done anything or they started and they were off to a good start and then something happened or something got in the way or who knows what, but they stopped or they quit. And so now they're not doing this anymore or you're just kind of doing it here and there. So um, I felt like I needed to get on here and talk to those people because you guys, this is the biggest momentum run this company has ever seen. This company is literally like just getting started. Honestly, we're like a baby comp like we're a baby company right now and we are just going to keep going. We're growing so fast and if you are going to jump on the train right now and go, you're going to go far really fast. People are promoting in record amount of time like you guys, it's insane. And, you know, I know it's really hard for people that are joining right now to understand this because you haven't been around for, you know, longer than right now. So this seems like normal. Um, but I've been doing this for three years and I have literally never seen momentum like this. I've never seen promotions like this. I mean, we had like 11 people go ambassador last month. That's crazy. Um, it's been insane. And I want you guys to know that this is not normal. This is rare air and you're either going to breathe it all in and take it and go or you're just going to let this opportunity go by you. And you all joined this business for a reason. You all did. You all click submit for a reason, whether it just be to get some products or to make a couple extra hundred bucks a month. I mean, that's why I started. Or maybe you really see the vision and you were like, I want to come home to my kids or, you know, I want to quit my job or I want to have a savings or get out of debt. Whatever your reason is, like you joined for a reason. And I don't know, this is hard for me because I am not a quitter. I don't quit anything. Um, once I say I'm doing something, I'm going to do it, especially if I put it out there to the universe that I started something or I'm doing something. Um, I am determined to do it and I do not like quitting. I don't like failing. So if you literally just take quitting off the table, you will get there. It's that simple. You guys, if you just say there's no way I can quit, like quitting is not an option. I just have to do it. Guess what? You're going to do it. You're going to get there. You're going to get to whatever your goal is and you can go past your goal. I mean, I got to my goal pretty fast. I just wanted an extra couple hundred dollars a month. I got there within a couple months and I chilled because I was happy. I was happy with that. And then, you know, after two years of just sitting there and realizing like, holy crap, I want more. I need more. That's when I like kicked it into high gear. And over a year, I went from a distributor to double diamond because I decided I needed more and decided that this business can do more for me. It's done more for other people and I'm not going to put it on the back burner anymore. So you guys all, you all joined for a reason and I want to remind you of that reason. So sit here for a second and think about why you started. Think about what your reasoning was. Now decide that you are going to accomplish those goals. You are going to get there and you're going to take quitting off the table. And there is no timeline. You can have goals, definitely have goals. Um, like I have set goals for myself to hit a certain rank by this month or, you know, this time. Um, you know, like you can set goals, but don't set a timeline. Don't have an expiration date. Don't say if I 
don't go Ruby this month and I'm quitting. Because guess what? Next month, you could enroll one person. One person can change your whole business and you could go Diamond next month. That's $2,000 a month, you guys. That's pretty life-changing for most people. So don't have an expiration date on this business. Don't quit so easily, you guys. If you really want this, you can do it. If I can sit here for two years and never freaking promote, you can do this for longer than two months, okay? Any business out there is going to take time. It's going to take consistency. It's going to take discipline. And it's up to you whether or not you're going to put in the work. And you know what? Someone just told me, I've been talking to this girl this morning, and she said that she'd already tried this business and it just didn't work because she was working full time and it was hard to work full time and do this. Guess what, guys? I never said it was going to be easy, but it's not hard, if that makes sense. The work you're doing is not hard work. Literally asking people to post something on your Facebook for you is not hard. Sending a quick message here and there is not hard. Interacting with people on your feed is not hard. It's None of it's hard. Adding friends is not hard. The work we actually do is not hard. It's not. And what's hard is making yourself do it every day, keeping yourself accountable, writing a daily checklist and making sure you're checking everything off before you go to bed. And if it's 10 o'clock at night and you're ready for bed and you still haven't sent your your goal for host to post messages for the day, you know what the difference between me and you is I stay up and I finish my list and you probably go to bed. That's the difference. I finish my task list every single day, no matter what, no matter what. Yes, there are hard days. There are days where it seems impossible and I'm going to get it all done. There's days where I don't want to do it, but I do it anyway. And that is why I'm a double diamond sitting here right now after two years of never promoting and then one day changing my attitude on everything and just going and in within a year of making that decision, I go double diamond. So there's absolutely no reason why you guys can't do it too. I say this all the time. But what the thing is, is I can lead you guys to success. I can show you exactly what I do every day. I can literally give you my task list and say, here, do this. But it's up to you to actually do it. I am not going to promote you for yourself. Um, I never had anyone help me promote. Like I've done it all myself. And so I will never do that for anyone else. And I've never expected it for myself. And I don't think anyone should ever expect it for them. So if you're sitting there waiting, like, why, why aren't you running with me? Why aren't you taking me? That's the wrong attitude. You should just run with yourself. And eventually you're going to have a team that's going to run with you. And that's when you start to climb the ranks. And that's when you're going to see this crazy momentum that we have. Oh, I can't even express it enough, you guys. Like, this is life-changing stuff. This is a business that could change your life. And you guys are all so impatient that you're just giving up so quickly. And it's so frustrating to watch because some of you guys have huge whys. I've seen them. You've told me. Some of you want to come home to your babies. Guess what? I am now a stay-at-home mom and I've not missed one day. I've not missed one day of my son's life by being at work. Because I decided to work my ass off for a while and do this like I was pregnant and I was not sitting there like oh I'm pregnant I can't work I don't feel good so I'm not gonna work no I was like I'm pregnant I want to stay home with my son when he gets here so I'm gonna work my butt off right now because it's a whole lot easier working while you're pregnant than it is when you have a newborn let me tell you that once you actually have the kid it's a lot harder than when they're inside you in case you didn't know <laughs> so you guys some of you have these amazing reasons that you need this you need this so badly some of you are living in literally the bedroom of your parents house with your husband and two kids and you want to be out on your own you need this some of you have thousands and thousands in debt and you have no idea how you're going to get out of that hole this business it can help you you need this some of you are on government assistance and 
are embarrassed every time you go to through the checkout line and you have to whip out your food stamps card. I grew up that way, by the way. I grew up in poverty. I grew up with a single dad, not a single mom, a single dad who worked his ass off for my brother and I. And we lived on government assistance my whole entire life. I lived in poverty my whole entire life. I lived in people's bedrooms. Like my dad, my brother and I shared bedrooms in people's houses. Um, at one point we had an apartment and my bedroom was the living room. I was 15, 16 years old and I didn't have privacy. I had the living room as my bedroom. But I was damn thankful I even had a house, a apartment to live in. So guys, I know the struggle. I grew up in a struggle. And I refuse to have my kids ever have that kind of struggle. They're going to be grateful for what they have. And I have already moved mountains for my son and for my future kids that aren't even a thought yet. I've already moved mountains for them. I've already done these crazy, amazing things with my life so they can have a better life. You guys, I grew up where... My dad was very honest with us and said, I don't have money to pay the bills. So we're going to choose right now between having electricity or having water this month. Yeah, that's the kind of, that's how I grew up. We grew up using our oven as a heater and not having the heat on in our house because it was too expensive. So we would turn on the oven um, in the morning and at night and we'd all huddle around the oven for heat. So I understand the struggle and I know there's so many people out there that are struggling too, that want out, that need more. And you have this opportunity sitting in front of your face and you have it all spelled out step by step on how to do this business, how to be successful, what you should be doing daily. And the only reason why you're not there is because you're not doing it. It's really that, or you gave up or you have excuses, you work full-time. Guess what? I worked full-time and I made it to Diamond while working full-time. Okay. And I worked at a hospital where it was 10, 12 hour days. I was exhausted when I got home. I did not want to do this. I wanted to just relax, but I got home, made dinner and got my butt back to work because I want a better life because I don't want to be exhausted and come home every night after 10 or 12 hours. Especially now that I have a kid, like I can't imagine working like that and coming home and then spending time with my son and being that tired and dreading 5 a.m. when my alarm clock's gonna go off. Heck no, that's not the life I want. That's why I work so hard. I didn't want car payments anymore. They're gone, paid them off. You guys, I can't even tell you enough, like, just do it. Just give it a chance. Take quitting off the table and just do the work every day. If you need somebody to keep you accountable, you need to get an accountability partner. And you're going to have to ask somebody or put it out into the group or ask one of us to help you find someone. Keep yourself accountable. Tell your significant other to keep you accountable. Do what you need to do to make this work. Stop making excuses because someone else has done it with less than you have. There's people out there, women out there that have five, seven kids that do this and have made it to the top. There's people out there that have worked two, three jobs and do this and have made it to the top. There's people out there that have nothing, that literally were broke, lived in their car and have figured it out and now are at the top of this company. Someone else has it worse than you have it right now. Someone else has more reasons why they can't work than you do. But you can use that reason to work harder and get yourself out of it. So I hope that somebody sees this somewhere and it inspires them to start again or get back in the business or do whatever you need to do to like legit give this a real shot and not spend two weeks on it and then give up because no one's interested. Trust me, there's 7 billion people on this planet and thousands and thousands of people have never heard of our company and they want our products. They do. Trust me, I sign, you know, 50 plus customers a month because I reach out to people because I do the things that we have been teaching you. So that's not an excuse. If you want this, you'll figure it out. 
take quitting off the table, go get to work, keep yourself accountable, and just do it, you guys. Just do it and watch your life change. It, it'll be amazing. Have a good day, guys.